Hi, and welcome to Lippy Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our paranormal news and discussion. And we have an article here uh, from August 30th. It is about a Bigfoot that was actually recently spotted in North Carolina. A uh, Bigfoot researcher in North Carolina believes that he stumbled upon the famous cryptid while walking in the woods earlier this month. According to local media reports, Doug Teague was retrieving some trail cams in a fostered uh, area of McDowell County on August 16th when he suddenly heard a mysterious tapping sound coming from somewhere nearby. Although he initially assumed that the noise was a woodpecker, his assessment soon changed when something began throwing rocks at him. Uh, realizing that he may be in the presence of a Sasquatch, Teague looked around and saw a dark form, uh, for the lack of a better term, a short distance away from the t uh, woods. Despite being overcome with excitement over the experience, the researcher smartly took out his cell phone uh, to record the scene and capture a few photos as well as a video uh, of what he contends is a Bigfoot seemingly sitting with its back to him. Uh, he also found a number of intriguing prints in the nearby mud. Uh, while some skeptics say uh, may say that Teague simply encountered a bear and not a Bigfoot, uh, he dismissed that ascension due to a pair of factors first. He astutely observed that the bears didn't, don't throw rocks. <laughs> Additionally, T explained that observation. his dog, Crazy Daisy, uh, was with him during the possible Sasquatch encounter, and she was going nuts, but staying close to him. He recalled and noted that he had, uh, that had the creature been a bear, his canine companion would have approached the animal. Uh, he says, looking back on the sighting, which uh, was his fourth such experience, he says, over so many years uh, for looking for Sasquatch, um, Teague marveled that it was, uh, he felt like a giddy kid, although he conceded that some skeptical individuals will doubt his story. The longtime Bigfoot researcher expressed little uh, consternation about such critics. Um, please don't believe him. Uh, please don't believe in him, he said, uh, of the legendary cryptids that have, or people don't believe in the legendary cryptid. Um, but so far he's managed to avoid being captured or proven to be exist, but he says they are here. Um, is that like an actual photo? Yeah, so this is supposedly the photo that he took, and this is the Sasquatch that's supposedly sitting here. So there, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, they're tapping, they're throwing the rocks up. That seems to be the common common thing with Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've been noticing that a lot, yeah. reading a lot of stuff on it. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's a bear. A bear would... <coughs> Number one, if it was a bear that close, I doubt you're gonna pull out your phone and start recording and stick mm. around. Right. Um, you're probably gonna creep away fairly quick. Yeah. Um, I know I wouldn't be sticking around. Mm -hmm. um, and he's right. <clears throat> His dog would definitely. If it was a bear, it's gonna go at it. Like it's gonna go. You know, yeah. it, and it's just the simple animal instinct that we just talked about. And with that Sasquatch, that, that instinct of this is an unknown. shouldn't go yeah. over there, you this know? Um, it's interesting. It, a lot of the story lines up. Right, um, with a lot of claims with Bigfoot and where, where in North Carolina? I don't um, let's say see, like this county. says... McDowell County. I wonder where that. I wonder if that's more west North Carolina. I'm not too for, like. Yeah. I've been in North Carolina. I've drove. I've driven about four hours west of the coast. I have a group if you want to check it out on Facebook yeah, called. It's pretty rural. Pretty. Those cool. Hattab 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hattaba Valley Bigfoot Research. This is the name of, I guess of this. So I mean, what we talk about with with Bigfoot and Sasquatch, where would they be located? I mean, there are definitely parts in North Carolina that are fit that description. Deep yeah. In those woods, yeah. You know, so yeah. Um, I I don't discredit that. I mean, I think it is possible. I, I think that Bigfoot does, it is out there. I, you know, I don't think it's uh, unfortunately you have a lot of these YouTube videos that are fake. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, too many bad ones and good ones. Right. right. And it just hurts the whole thing. I would say the one thing I'd probably nitpick on that a little bit, the one inconsistency was it was throwing rocks at him, but then it was sitting quietly with his back to him, like right after. I would feel like that, that you know throwing rocks is a is a defense mechanism, 
It, it could be just, aggressive, you know, it would either well, I mean, attack or run away after that, not sit there calmly with its back to the you, thing throwing rocks at. I think it depends. I mean, you have certain, uh, like, apes or monkeys that do it just because they think it's funny, you know? Um, I'm sure that's funny. Because uh, <laughs> if I was just watching, I would totally... Just work. bored all day. Hey, there's a person, let me throw some rocks at him. With your rocks at you. Turn around that with our members. I mean, yeah. you know, like in Lake George. <laughs> <laughs> it's but. true, though. I mean, I think it's interesting. I think that he has some, like you're saying, some experiences that line up with just some of the characteristics that people tend to receive. Um, but he's also a Bigfoot researcher. He already would know that information. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I... I whether or not this was actually what happened to him or not, and I'm not going to say it is, I'm not going to say it isn't, but I do also believe that there is something out there, like a Bigfoot, mm -hmm. uh, that does exist. I just, obviously we haven't caught it yet. Um, North Carolina isn't where I expect it to be, to be honest, but um, just because most of, if not all of North Carolina has been explored, and like, where else do you go? There's certain parts of, like I always say, for me, Washington State is a big thing for me in Bigfoots. Like, if I figure if we're ever going to find one, that's where it's going to be. Um, but there's different types of variations of Bigfoot all over the country, all over the world. There's just different variations of them. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, and it's, I believe the article said this guy's been searching for, what, four years? It says? No, it says he's had four, account, four accounts. Four accounts. Okay. Of Bigfoot experiences okay. I thought over the years. It doesn't the give years. us like an exact number of hours. Okay. But apparently, he goes into the woods, he sets up trail camps to try and capture something, and just goes and picks them up. I'd, I'd be curious to look at his website and see what else he's We seen. have his Facebook page. We can get to that. Yeah, it says it okay. on the I'd photo. be curious about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's so. Maybe he'll join us for a future episode. Yeah, right? It'll be interesting. So, I'd have some things to ask. Uh, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below and if you haven't yet you can give this video a like, share, and subscribe. You can also click that little notification bell to know when all of our content is being uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys very much for joining us on this latest edition of Ghost News Network and until next time, take care guys.